you might have heard the biggest of the big financial networks talk about these guys before. Wall Street Bets. You might have heard CNBC talk about them once or twice in the past. You might have heard Bloomberg talk about them in the past. The biggest of the big financial networks have even mentioned these folks' names. Wall Street Bets. And here we are today. We're going to do a video about Wall Street Bets and a character that was in Wall Street Bets. And I'm just going to say to all the mods over at Wall Street Bets, you have made it to the big leagues, okay? Now, you didn't quite make it to the big channel, okay? But you made it to financial education too, so you got to start somewhere. But honestly, I've got to be honest, okay, about Wall Street Bets. I've got to come clean about this, okay? Never really talked about this. But Wall Street Bets, if you didn't know, okay, it's actually phenomenal for long-term investing. Great place to go for long-term investing. I mean, the companies they talk about in there, the business models are the creme de la creme. They're the top tier. The insights you get on the fundamentals of these great companies, it's like you can't get anywhere else. I mean, just amazing. And I gotta say, it's just only high-level thinkers, only high-level thinkers over there, like really intelligent people that like they really treat every Everybody in there with a lot of respect, a lot of dignity. They're like on a whole other level. I mean, I can't, I can't even like, I mean, I got to be honest with you guys, okay? If it wasn't for Wall Street bets, I could have never had the type of gains I have in the public account. Like, I'll be honest, most of the, the home run stocks have come from Wall Street bets community. Like, they are just amazing. Like, the fundamental, I mean, that cruisy doozy, you know, elf on a shelf, you know, the FB, fizzy get dizzy, Planet 13, Revolve, Skyworks Solutions, Tesla, Myesla, all these stocks, okay? They all, I got them all from Wall Street bets because they just, they know so much over there. Such high, I'm sorry. You thought I was being serious. No, okay? No, 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 okay? <laughs> you thought, you got, I had you guys, okay? I had you for a moment there, okay? I do, I'll be honest, I do love Wall Street Bets. I go on there at least a few times a week, okay? The memes, the memes, I have to go on Wall Street Bets. The memes are 10 out of 10. There's nowhere you will ever find memes in the stock market better than Wall Street Bets. It's, it's them and then everybody else is like so far down there. It's ridiculous, okay? They are the leader, okay? And it's also the place you go if you want to watch some people throw some YOLO money around on option plays, high risk, high reward. It's entertainment, okay? You guys know I live in Las Vegas, right? And, you know, I could go down the strip and watch some people gamble some money around, right? Some high risk play, but that's awkward, right? Because I got to physically be there and I got to watch them. Like, I got to like stand there and like watch this person like, like bet $1,000 on this roulette wheel right now. It's a, it's a little weird. It's a little awkward. I can go on Wall Street bets and watch, you know, the people that gamble a lot more money than them. And it's so much less awkward because no one even knows I'm looking at them. I'm just like watching this and I'm just like, wow, this is, this is, this is highly entertaining. Okay. But here today, we're going to talk about the Wall Street bet YOLO King today, okay? I haven't heard a story that's as wild as this one, okay? This individual, and we're gonna go through exactly how they did it. They turned $5,000 into $700,000, legit too, okay? I'm not talking about a like margined out money or found the infinite money loop or something like that that like Robin Hood had back in the day or something like that. No, this is like legit. They took Five thousand and made into seven hundred thousand, and then took it to zero in three weeks. Okay, in a matter of three weeks, I've I, don't, I can't remember ever hearing a story this crazy in the stock market in my life. And I'm gonna tell you guys exactly how this happened. Absolute nuts. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm looking super forward to it. It's it's a little change of pace. It's a fun one. I think we can learn a little bit from a story like this as well. Okay, so if you guys don't mind smashing that thumbs up button, it helps out the YouTube channel massively. Okay. Let's get into this story, okay? 19 year old, he joins Wall Street Bets and he's looking to kind of like yellow some money around, okay? You only live once. It's, I want to, you know, put some money around. I got $5,000. What can I do? I want to get in some of these option plays that you guys are doing and whatnot, okay? And the kid, like knocks out of the ballpark. He has a bunch of super successful trades right off the bat with some of these option deals. And next thing you know, he's got a hundred thousand dollars and like a snap of a fingers. It's like, okay, that was flipping amazing. Dude, you just went from five thousand in your account 
to a hundred thousand doing some crazy, you know, risky option plays. And you know, whether it was luck or skill or, you know, who knows what he, you know, the, regardless, he got to $100,000, okay, in a very short amount of time. Now, you would think any practical person, okay, any practical person will say, you know what, let's pull out this money, let's focus on long-term investing now, I got a good, you know, seed money to start, 100 k behind myself now, and let me start taking, you know, long-term investing, super serious, or you know what, maybe if I don't want to do that, maybe let's start a biz, I got, you know, $100,000 now, like, this is a good chunk of money, let me start a business with this money, and, and kind of get that up and rolling, or, Heck, let me put a down payment on a house, right? He's 19. He can move out, put a nice down payment on a house, you know. I mean, unless you live in like San Francisco or LA or New York or whatnot, right? Houses around the United States, you can get, you know, some houses for like 100K, 200K, 300K. He could easily afford a down payment on 100, 200, even a 300K house. Like, no problem, right? And so so you, that's how a practical person would think. But Wall Street bets people, they are different, okay? WSB people, they're different. And they think, I'm going to get richer than Elon Musk. Musk in the next three weeks, okay? I'm rolling and I'm gonna keep rolling this money. And I just took 5,000, made it into 100,000. Just wait to see what I do now, okay? So next up, the 19 year old goes all in on short term call options for Align Technologies, okay? Ticker symbol ALGM. If you don't know, they make like invisible braces, okay? And they're kind of like are a competitor to Smile Direct Club, but they have different business model where at Line, they work really close in with the dentist. A Smile Direct Club, it's more like, you know, you can contact them through their website or their app and things like that. And it's it's kind of, uh, it's a different process. It's a different way of doing business, Align versus Smile Direct Club. So yeah, he, he feels like they're about to report some amazing earnings. He goes all in on these call options that are expiring in a, in a day or two from now. You know, definitely a very risky bet, okay? You know, this is what we call the, the highest risk, highest reward stuff you can do is like buy call options that expire in a day or two, okay? Now, a line earnings come out that night, right after he bought, okay? And guess what? They smash it, okay? They smash expectations and just crush it. It goes great. Stock is up massively the next day. I mean, absolutely massively. And he ends up booking himself $200,000 profit on the move, okay? Profit. So now he's up to $300,000, okay? I mean, this is amazing. This 19-year-old has gone from 5,000 to 300,000 in a matter of like a week or so, or a week and a half or something. Amazing, okay? This is either a genius or the luckiest person on, on the face of the earth. Like, I don't know what, okay? This is like somebody like hitting the lottery or something. Like, unbelievable, okay? And, and if you're a practical person out there, you're, you're listening to this video right now and you're saying, gosh, okay, you know what? If I was in a situation, here's what I would start doing. I would start taking investing super serious. Let me learn about the fundamentals of companies. I got $300,000 to play with now. Let me start actually like, like, you know, going with a little less risky strategy so I don't lose all this money now. Let me start looking into business fundamentals and things like that, okay? Or, dude, I might buy a house cash now. Like, move out of mom's basement. Like, you got the money to do it now. Pull the 300K out, buy a house cash. You're the only 19 year old I've ever known that has a house paid off. Are you kidding me? Like 200K, 250K? Heck, even a three, you know, well, he's gonna have to pay his taxes on it, so he can't go all the way up to 300K, right? But he could easily buy himself like a, a 200K house cash, man. That would be sick. That's like a big flex, right? That's how a practical person thinks, but not a Wall Street bets person. They're like, man, I'm either moving next to Bill Gates or, dude, I'm gonna stay in my mom's basement for life, okay? It's one of those two, and there's nothing in between. So 48 hours later, he's ready to go. He's ready to go in again, okay? He's ready, he's pumped. He's like, I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do something great again, okay? So the 19 year old, he says, okay, the market went up today. So tomorrow, the stock market is gonna go down, okay? That's what he's thinking. And you know, that's not at all how the stock market works. Like if anybody that's been in the market for a while knows that it's not really quite that simple. Like, well, the market went up today, so tomorrow's gonna be down day, and the next day will be an up day, and then it'll be, no, that's not literally how the stock market works at all, okay? So the 19 year old, okay, this is probably where it's gonna start going bad, right? Because I mean, that's just ridiculous. Like, you know, come on, man. So the 19 year old, he buys $170,000 worth of spy puts, okay? Basically betting the stock market's gonna go down and these expire the very next day. 
Okay, very next day they're expiring. This is this is one hundred and seventy thousand. The kid, the kid had five thousand dollars a couple weeks ago. Now he's putting one hundred and seventy thousand on something that's expiring the next day. Are you kidding me? Okay, and guess what? The stock market starts going up. Okay, it's not looking good for him. No bueno. Okay, this guy's about to lose one hundred and seventy thousand dollars in a matter of a day. Absolutely horrible. Okay. Until President Trump decides to get on Twitter and send a tweet that there's more tariffs coming against China, okay? More tariffs coming. Oh, oh my goodness. And the market starts to sell off. The market starts tanking. All the stocks start going down and down and down and down. And next thing you know, the 19 year old has pulled out a rabbit out of that hat once again, okay? And booked another massive profit, okay? And now he's sitting at about $700 thousand dollars okay i mean you uh i mean even in hollywood they couldn't write a story this perfect i mean this is beyond ridiculous kid had five thousand and now he's sitting on seven hundred thousand dollars in a matter of a few weeks the most ridiculous thing ever right and i mean imagine you're you're in my city right vegas right and you're on the roulette wheel and somehow every single time you know the color that's coming up that's essentially this guy i mean eventually like the casino might kick yeah, because they're like, you got to be cheating somehow. There's no way every single time you know what color, like somehow it's just like, it's so ridiculous. And, and the equivalent of this would be like getting the color right like 20 times straight in roulette or something like that. Like that's the equivalent of what this kid was doing. And you think, dude, walk away from that roulette wheel. Let's get out of here. Let's take our profit that's run. Or let's just cash out. Like, let's just say, let's cash out a few hundred thousand dollars, right? Okay, you want to keep playing? Keep playing. But let's not, let's just take 300, 400 thousand dollars off the table and let's play with the other 300 thousand or something like that, right? Nope, he's not doing that, okay? He is not doing that. And, and for all you folks that don't wanna hear the sad part of the story, uh, you know, switch the video now, go watch one of my other videos in this channel, or the other channel or something like that, because this is when the Roman Empire starts falling, okay? And it starts getting a little, a little sad, let's just put it that way, okay? All right, so, and for you folks that are just waiting for this downfall, you know, turn on your surround sound because it's about to get crazy, okay? So he goes ahead and he buys $600,000. Kid that had $5,000 a few weeks ago, now he's buying $600,000 of calls expiring the next day, okay? The next day. I mean, absolutely ridiculous because he thinks the market's going to go up and have a great day, okay? Well, the next day, the market is not good. The market is actually very bad. It's uh, super red. And he ends up losing a half a million dollars in a day, okay? A half a million dollars in a day to a kid that had $5,000 a few weeks before that. I mean, that's just, I can't even fathom that type of loss. I mean, we're talking about a a hundred times the amount of money he had a few weeks ago, he loses it in a day, okay? And uh, so basically, he lost 500000 of that $600,000 trade, which means essentially he's got $200,000 left, right? He has the, that hundred that he didn't play with, and then he has a hundred that he was able to cash out there, if we can call it cash out. So he got 200000 left total. And so now you're thinking, you know, probably pull out at this point, right? It just kind of makes sense, in my opinion. I mean, it, it, your, your luck finally ran out. It's time to be reality. Dude, you took 5,000 and you've got 200,000. Like, you know, now's the time to pull out. Nope, he's not doing that, okay? He's keeping on going. One week later, he's down to 40 thousand dollars okay a week later i mean it's just it's going south and more south for this gentleman and, and i mean still even at this moment right for a guy that had five thousand dollars a few weeks ago even pulling out at forty thousand is amazing i mean absolutely amazing we're talking that's what like an 8x on your money that is incredible and nothing to sneeze at like i mean shoot if i could 8x my money in a year i would be amazed with that okay never mind in a matter of a few weeks like dude that's amazing, okay? But he's not doing that, okay? Now he feels like he's the poorest man on the planet, right? When you had 700,000, and then in a matter of a week or so, you go down to 40,000, like he feels like he's just all like completely broke. So he's, he's trying to climb the ranks back up. So he's gonna go all in, call options on CGC, okay? Canopy Growth Corporation. And these uh, options are expiring the next day. They're gonna report earnings. And so he's like, I'm about to make my money back and I'm about to get super rich again, okay? And so CGC, they report 
awful earnings, okay? I mean, absolutely awful earnings. And this gentleman loses all his $40,000 and he goes to zero dollars in his account balance, okay? Absolutely incredible. I mean, you literally, Hollywood couldn't write a story this good. Absolutely. I mean, in my opinion, so in the private group, we have like a you know, like a six-figure Hall of Fame, seven-figure Hall of Fame. So once you get more than 100,000 in stocks, you get a six-figure trophy sent to you. And once you get more than a million in stocks, uh, you basically get a seven-figure award sent to you. And so I think Wall Street Bets should start something up similar to that. And I think you should get like one of these little like stuffed animal guys like sent to your house or something like that when you have an incredible story like that. Because this has got to be the most incredible story I've ever heard. I mean, a guy that takes five Five thousand into seven hundred thousand in a matter of weeks and takes it down to zero. Like that's a, that's a skill, man. That's a that's a that's a flat out skill. And so let this be a lesson to everybody watching this video. If you ever get super lucky and somehow turn some very small amount of money into some ridiculous amount of money in a very short amount of time in the stock market, okay. Just remember that money can be lost just as fast, if not faster, okay? Especially if you're playing with call options and these dangerous activities like he was doing. And that's the only way you really climb that dang fast, okay? Other than owning Tesla stock, but we won't talk about that one, okay? Other than doing that, like, like call options, put options, those sorts of things, man. Just know your, eventually your luck's gonna run out. Your luck's gonna run out on those type of activities. And it's like, like, like when he went to 700, like why not just pull out three or 400K and just say, okay, keep playing with the rest, see what happens. But why not just pull that out and say, you know what, I got a good chunk to invest now or, or buy a house. But at the same time, you know, I understand, you know, I live in Vegas. It's, it, you know, the, that gambler's mentality. And it's like, if you just took that money up to, you know, 5K to 100K, then uh, you know a rational person would have pulled out right then. But if you've got a gambler's mentality, you just want to keep going and going. And, and even though it's an activity, you know this isn't going to last. You know this is not sustainable to just continue to get lucky on every single one of these trades that are expiring the next day. You know eventually that's going to end, right? But when you got that type of you know gambler's mentality, you just keep going with it and going with it. That's why it's not sustainable in the end. And, and we hear a lot of stories like this, not like to this extent. Like this is a crazy, you know, crazy one, 5K to 700K to zero. But you, you, you know, Wall Street Bets is known for a lot of folks out there that will, you know, build up, build up, build up. And uh, they, they get a good chunk of change. And then next thing you know, they just end up losing it all because when, when you're playing around with these YOLO, you know, call options and put options really short term, there's actually ways you can make a lot of money, you know, doing different option strategies that are actually, you know, like way less risky than not only those things but actually then buying stocks you can do things like you know selling put options and writing covered calls and things like that that actually aren't that dangerous you know especially if you're comparing to like these type of option activities but you know would I be making a video about somebody writing covered calls or selling put options? No, I wouldn't. But I would I would make a video about a guy that went from 5K to 700K back to zero because that's a that's an interesting video there. So hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, if you don't mind, smash that thumbs up button. It helps out the YouTube channel in a big way. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. Let me know your opinion on this in that comment section. I would love to hear from you guys down there as always. And also, if you want to check out any resources, we have them linked in the description. Definitely go out there and check out those. Thank you for watching and have a great day.